In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we uh, gather this morning, let us pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and keep us. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers, there sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus, once a hostage at Rome. He became king in the year 137 of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law, and they seduced many people, saying, Let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people promptly went to the king, and he authorized them to introduce the way of living of the Gentiles. Thereupon they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem according to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. Then the king wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the 15th day of the month of Chislev, in the year 145, the king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings, and in the surrounding cities of Judah, they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law which they found, they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with a scroll of the covenant and whoever observed the law was condemned to death by royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food or to profane the holy covenant. And they did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me 
because of the wicked who forsake your law. Give, Give me, me life, O oh Lord, and I will do your, your commands. commands. Though the snares of the wicked are twined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give, Give me life, life O oh Lord, Lord, and I will, I will do, do your commands. commands. Redeem me from the, imp from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give, Give me life, O Lord, Lord, and I will do your, your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, Lord, and I will, I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give, Give me life, O Lord, Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the, the apostates with loathing, because they kept not your promise. Give, Give me life, O Lord, Lord, and I will do your commands. commands. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the peoples gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Both the first reading today, uh, which is the, the opening of the account of the, the Maccabean oppression and ultimately a sort of revolt, and uh, the gospel today uh, from Luke, deal with individuals who face resistance in their orientation towards God. In the first reading, it's a group effort. The entire Israel nation is under extreme scrutiny and persecution and there's a great sacrifice for those who decide they're going to be faithful to the covenant and to the law in luke's gospel it's just one individual it's this blind man who orients himself towards jesus makes a public display that he's looking for the pity of god and he gets rebuked by everyone around him he's ridiculed he's told to be quiet and so both of these are reminders to us that if we really are intent on orienting ourselves towards God and what God wants for us, we should expect some pushback, whether that's collectively as a, a large corporate body or, or individually in my, my personal, and personal life. So uh, may you and I take heart by that reality, uh, that that's sort of par for the course. It's pretty normative and that we might not uh, fold in uh, when that happens. The, the blind man would have lost out if he had allowed himself to be muted by the crowds, and the Israelites in the first reading never would have saw the power of God if they had decided to capitulate to, 
to the Roman powers. So uh, let us uh, be attentive to that orientation and allow the, the Lord to do wondrous works in us. Please stand for our petitions. We pray for the church. For Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those areas of our world that are torn by war and violence, those places scarred by abuse. We ask that the Holy Spirit and the Spirit's healing and restorative power may descend upon those peoples and their lands bringing renewal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for government leaders that God will grant them wisdom and insight to enact laws and policies that bring about true justice in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and our families that we might not fold in to the resistant forces that keep us from living out as God has asked, but might joyfully persevere we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle chronic illness and disease and who are wearied from their ailment. May God grant them strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Julian Ominski, and for Paul Muehlbach, whose funeral mass will be celebrated here this morning. And Julian and Paul's souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Mary Jean Harrington. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, hear and answer these prayers according to your will and grant us the grace of perseverance in the face of resistant winds to your good news. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven and, Heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my 
my soul shall be healed. Let us pray.
We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, reminder, uh, our visitation uh, this morning for the Mulebach funeral starts at 930 uh, also, this uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, Masses are at 9 a.m. each day for Thanksgiving and the day after. This Wednesday, there is no school Mass. School is not in session, so the 815 Mass will be just like this. And our uh, Seton Center truck is here for the last collection of our red bags. So for those of you who are available immediately after Mass out in the narthex, pick up a red bag and take it out to the U-Haul underneath the overhang. That's it. All right. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.